So I just want to remind us that we've now moved from talking about the innovations of technologies and policies as such, and we're moving towards scaling up. This is how impact occurs, and this is really what we're all about, is getting impact on the ground. Whether the ground is in the government policy offices, it's convincing the private sector to become more involved, or whether it is just trying to find new areas of innovation that we can't even envisage at this stage. So this panel is concerned with policies on innovation. We have three persons. First of all, we have uh, Ismahen Elouafi from the Director General of the International Center for Biosaline Agriculture in the United Arab Emirates. Welcome. Kei Otsuku, Professor from Kobe University in Japan. And Mengshan Shen, the Chair of the State Food and Nutrition Consultant Committee and the former Secretary of the Leading Party Group of the Chinese Academy of Agricultural Science in China. In the latter case, Meng Shan Chan will speak through his translator to us. So rather than have a long prologue from the chair, we're going to head straight into four minute presentations, four and a half at the maximum. Please, Esmaan. So thank you very much. Thank you for uh, the invitation. So I want to first, my key messages, I have two key messages, but before that, I have a dichotomy first. So we just assume that most of the technologies that we had already have reached the people in the South, and that people have taken advantage of it. Whereas we have to recognize that most of the technologies that we think for granted in the North have never reached the people in the South. And unfortunately, they have not taken advantage of it, and it didn't make their life better. So let's hope that those new disruptive technologies we are talking about will reach worldwide and will give benefit to the people in the South. And my two key messages is the first one is that we are at a crossroad. I do see that the coupling of the huge advancement in genomics that was presented by REN, nanotechnology, and the computational technology, the big data, make us that we are at really able to do discoveries that we were not able to do five, 10 years ago. Think about artificial intelligence, for example, that took a huge heap from 2016 only. And my second key message is that for me, genomics is one of the most important technologies that will make a difference in terms of nutrition and food security. And the reason behind is that in the old days, we used to spend so much time and so much money on breeding. Whereas right now, with genomics, animal breeding and plant breeding gonna be difficult, different. Because before, and I'm a breeder, you need to do thousands and thousands of genotypes, thousands and thousands of cross, you need to phenotype them in many, many environments. And that's one of the reasons why Great Revolution took off and the neglected underutilized species went back. It's because it's too expensive to breed new varieties. So I think if we apply genomics, and it has to be applied, as Koshi said, in different ecosystems, we could make a difference. Because we could bring the crops that we forgot about, be it the manioc in Africa, or the yam in Africa, or the quinoa and chichiwa in Latin America, we could breed them back, we could breed them very quickly and make them available for the people. And of course, the whole value chain has to be developed at that time. We have to make sure that we link the consumers and create those consumers. Remember that we talk about the consumer like if it's a free man or free woman. The reality of things, we are creating those consumers. Marketing is creating those consumers. Multinational are creating what they want. So let's try to stabilize it as a, a local. Instead of coffee paste, let's give the communities the right to develop the crops that they want. And hopefully with the awareness of the importance of nutrition, we could do that. So uh, lastly, within the genomics, I think the gene editing technology that came available now and making huge disruptive uh, new product, be it in cows or in plant, will make really a game changer. Thank you very much.
Thank you.